Hi guys, CruiseFX here, and today I've got another dual tap for you. But um, before I start, I'm just going to give you a quick update. Uh, I've deleted all but two of the speed arts on my channel because I'm just not happy with the quality of them, like the quality of the work I produce in them. So I'm going to be starting again with the speed arts, and I hope to make them a lot better and more entertaining for you. And I'm also going to be entering more competitions, as you probably seen. I've got a Marvel Arts speed art, which was for the competition. And I'm also going to enter Acres speed art competition. So I hope to get mentioned in one of them eventually. But I'm going to get on with the tutorial now. And today's tutorial is in Cinema 4D. And, well, today's dual touch, I should say. And the first tutorial is the overshoot problem. And the overshoot problem is, well, it was my um, most common um, uh, problem in Cinema 4D when I first got it in making animation. And I'm going to show you how to get rid of it. So I'm going to make, make the text object. Okay, nothing fancy. And then I'm just going to do a really simple animation. So at the beginning, I'm going to have it off the screen. I'm going to keyframe it there, and then at 30, 30 frames, I want it to come onto the screen, keyframe it there. I want it to stay on the screen for 20 frames, up to 50, keyframe it there, and then I want it to shoot off the screen, oh, wait a minute, at 70 frames I want it to shoot off the screen, keyframe there. And when I play it, it should come along, stop, and then go off again. But, as you can see, it doesn't do that. It comes along, goes back, and then uh, forward again. And this is called Overshoot. And it is incredibly annoying when you're trying to make animations. So I'm just going to show you how to fix it. So, you want to come up to Window, Timeline. And you've got all your um, objects that you've got in your animation listed here. I've only got one text object and you want to click the plus um, icon and you've got position scale rotation and I know that my animation only um, includes position it just goes along the screen so I'm going to drop down position and I'm not sure which ones X, Y and Z so I'm just going to drop these down and I can see that it's X. Whichever one of these has the red line on it that curves, that's your animation. Those curves are your animation. So I can see that it's only X. So what you want to do is these little um, blue dots that mark where the curves change, you want to click on the first one and you'll see this black line with a uh, triangle at the end. You want to hold control and then just click on all the points in your timeline and all of them are selected and the overshoot is caused by these um, not being straight so these are a slight angle so you want to come up down to here and tick clamp and as you should have seen they all went straight I'll just do that again just watch the back lines I'll click clamp and they go straight and now if I play it back we've got a nice smooth animation so I'm now going to get on with the next tutorial, make a new, and this is how to change the anchor point of your Cinema 4D, so I'm just going to find my logo, I am so unorganised, in my computer, here we go, um, so I'm just going to select K, uh, Okay, there is the K of my logo. I'm just going to add extrude nerves. Drag these up. Okay, now if I want to change the rotation of this one, I click rotation and the rotation tool is all the way over here. So I have to zoom out to be able to see it. If I zoom in, I can't see the rotation tool anywhere. I have to come all the way out, and then when I rotate it, it rotates in a weird way. It's not around the right point. 
So if I want to rotate it like that, I then have to drag it back in. So I'm going to show you how to change the anchor point. So you want to click on your extrude nerves of the object you want to change the anchor point of. Come over to the left toolbar and it should be on the black double arrow with the triangle in the middle. You just want the orange double arrow. So you're going to click the orange double arrow and that means you can move this white square is your anchor point. So firstly you want to make sure that it lines up sideways with your shape. It's about lined up. And then you want to line it up with the middle and there that white box is pretty much in the center of the whole thing and then you have to click enter. Make sure you click enter. That's really important. And then if I come to my rotation tool I can rotate it all around one point. I don't have to zoom out. I'll just do it with another one. Click the orange arrow, drag it up, make sure it's in line, hit enter. And now I can drag it however I want without having to worry about zooming in and out constantly. So that's the tutorial. Um, hope this helps. Uh, Cruise your effects here and I'll see you in the next tutorial.